evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to JCPW and we have made it, it is the final episode to decide all our champions because tonight we decide our world champion, as you can see the match card is up now, we've got Jordan Rodriguez going against El Ventura, followed by Cody Rossi versus Crimson, and you see a lot of these superstars you've already seen before in previous episodes but they are going for the world title. Then we have Lewis Sanders, who made a great impression in the next gen title. He was going against Vincent Lawrence again for a shot at that title. And our final match we see JC Wolf taking on Logan Townsend. That is right, JC Wolf from DCA CCL. He is here. We're going to open with our opening match. Here we go. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. No, you are not seeing things. That is the legend, Jordan Rodriguez. He is here in JCPW, and he is here to make a statement, and he is here to take the JCPW World title. For those who have watched previous episodes of CWL, you will know that JC Wolf is the current reigning and defending CWL World Champion. And he will be bringing that title here to JCPW in the next coming episode. But Jordan Rodriguez is looking to return the favor as such and bring in the JCPW world title to CWL. Ladies and gentlemen, JC Wolf and Rodriguez do have a storied history. And believe me, I do not. The fact that we've got Jordan Rodriguez here kind of tells me that we will not hear the end of that rivalry between those two great superstars. That being JC Wolf and Jordan Rodriguez who is in the ring right now. And his opponent. It is JCPW's only Lucha Libre superstar. That is El Ventura. But El Ventura has not had the best start since being here in JCPW. I mean, he was eliminated from the Battle Royal. He did not advance in the next gen championship. So can this be an opportunity for him to redeem himself for the JCPW world title? But I've got to be honest, it is a tough task, especially with the legend. Jordan Rodriguez as his opponent. Here we go, Jordan Rodriguez, El Ventura, first round of the world title tournament. Here we go. As he's straight in there with a spine buster, Jordan Rodriguez instantly showing his dominance by spine buster in El Ventura through the arena, to the ring. And use that wise fat. He's going to take the leg. He's going to work on that leg. Slow down the Lucha Libre star. Because this guy obviously needs his legs. Elventure needs his legs to perform any of those big moves. Look at Rodriguez. is already looking to take a risk. Begging his opponent to get up. Waits for his opponent to get to his feet. What's Rodriguez got planned? Beautiful top row. Mitorora there. Double knees to the face, taking down his opponent. Oh, Jordan, like nice little move. Elvin Tua there with a pop up into that. Beautiful drop kick there and stomping down on the arm. This is where he's happy. Elvin Tua goes for a. Oh! Phoenix splash! Phoenix splash off the second rope, ladies and gentlemen, definitely say, but Jordan Rodriguez. With the reversal, follows it up with a hey, no. He's going for a wheelbarrow there, but Jordan Elvin too there was able to turn that into a <laughs> into a beautiful wheelbarrow for two plus, and it follows up with a court screw moonsault. Elvin really needs to take advantage. Elvin really needs to make sure that he 
through the point that is meant to be here as you see that beautiful springboard into that rolling body sent on there I look at John Rodriguez now has kind of worked out his game plan there falls it with a snap suplex we start and now take control and take control of Elvin True falls it which is a discus punch straight to the face is one two oh just the two count there but Jordan Riga is a straight punch to the face of El Ventura so Jordan Riga now kind of knows what El Ventura is to be looking for as he just whips his opponent into the corner but El Ventura there with the reversal goes a cutter of some sort but gets reversed Elvindrew able to recover and Irish whips Rodriguez into the corner. Reverse of Rodriguez and falls it with a I think I looked like a I'm not too sure what it was. It was kind of like a diving leg drop move there, and then follows up with that beautiful seated reverse DDT. For those who do know who Jordan Rodriguez is, this guy has had a serious rivalry with JC Wolf. Oh, well, I said, hang on. Look, got a green miss from El Ventura. But no, Jordan Rodriguez able to reverse with the neck breaker. As I was saying, Jordan Rodriguez has had a long term rivalry with, well, JC Wolf as he is known now. But before he was JC Wolf, he was the natural. He was all sorts of things. I don't know what we're going to see from Rodriguez. Looks at one winged angel. This could be it. This what? Referees in position. One, two. Oh, Elvin Chua just managed to kick out of that move there. So, what has Rodriguez got to do to put Elvin Tua away? But like I said, Rodriguez and Wolf have had a long standing rivalry. So, it'll be interesting to see if this rivalry does continue through JCBW as you see the flip over DDT there from Jordan Rodriguez we start to get control of this match oh, well, so Rodriguez got planned this straight kicks to the gut and falls up with a lariat El Ventura able to reverse putting up a fight but no Rodriguez with the reversal flips over in to the back suplex goes into the pin there's one two and we just gets the two count there and Rodriguez is now starting to feel that he's look he's gonna start taking advantage of this one I'm gonna probably take control of this match and put away Al Ventura because in my opinion Jordan Rodriguez has to be a favorite for this title Rodriguez got planned here. Drips his point over the top. Are we going to see it? The most used, overused move in wrestling, the superplex. But no, Rodriguez rolls through. Show a strength with the falcon arrow goes in the pin. Two. Oh, very close there. Very close. Alvin Tura almost with it, almost falling to that three count. Oh, we know this is. We've seen so many superstars use this one. We're going to see it. George with a kin shasta knee takes out takes out Alvin Tura. There's no way Alvin Tura is getting on this one. It's one, two. Wait a minute, Alvin Tura showing some resiliency. They're able to kick out of that move. John Rodriguez looks like he's getting frustrated, but he's now got to get rid of that frustration and take over. There's another discus, discus punch there from Jordan Rodriguez. Ever with the reversal. Back and forth now. This is the reversals coming. It's back and forth reversals. Inverted backbreak from El Ventura. Oh, it's El Ventura got plus he's got something planned just works over the arm stomps directly onto the arm of his opponent Goes at Rodriguez Irish whips the point into the, into the ropes but his arm whip 
back and forth reversals in this last few minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Jordan Rodriguez definitely will have the upper hand. He's got the experience. See the rolling thunder from Jordan Rodriguez. Jordan Rodriguez, great rip referee. Look at his feet is on the ropes. It's two. Jordan Rodriguez trying to get the cheap win there. Alvin Tura was ready for it. Always seen this from Alvin Tura. That cutthroat suplex into the pin. But Owen doesn't even get a one count there from Jordan Rodriguez. Alvin Tura needs to go back to what he knows. Needs to go back to the whole Lucha Libre style wrestling. Again, Jordan Rodriguez upper hand managed to reverse the falls up with a kick to the side of the face. Falls up with a jumping leg drop Jordan Rodriguez now restart to take control of this match the Irish trips his opponent again into the corner Elventure was ready this time sends Jordan Rodriguez into the corner spins him around looks, looks like he's going to go for something big and what are we going to see from Elventura we may we know it's coming Oh, what a move from El Ventura. Slingshots through the turnbuckle into that Tornado DT. But will El Ventura, El Ventura wait there for, for, the, for, the, for the count of victory? We'll have to wait and see what he does. But no, it looks like El Ventura is going to go out there and bring Rodriguez back. And Rodriguez is ready for it. It's a wheelbarrow suplex. Again, ladies and gentlemen, a back and forth match here. It looks like, again, El Ventura willing to wait for Rodriguez to get back in the ring. Maybe that's a catch of breathing for himself. But Donald has the best idea. Dragon suplex holds on to it for the pin. Again, only the two count. Jordan Rodriguez. Now start to take control of this match. This spins his point around. What are you gonna see from Jordan Rodriguez now? Drips his point onto the top. Are we gonna see another superplex? It's the most no we're not gonna see the but butterflies the arms. The butterfly suplex. Jordan Rodriguez now really starting to take control of this match. But as I say that, El Ventura there with the reversal. Ladies and gentlemen, back and forth. There's been no clean cut win in this one. Brain buster from Jordan Rodriguez. Looks like the referee is checking on El Ventura because he's had a lot of shots to the head. Jordan Rodriguez just basks in the applause of his opponents of the audience here at JCPW it looks like El Ventura is in some serious trouble right now but it's a back suplex keeps hold of that one to a second back suplex changes grip is the German suplex are we going to see another one of those Kinshasa knee strikes There is Kinshasa knee takes out his opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, this match could be done. Rodriguez flips the half. There's a pin. There's one, two, three. Jordan Rodriguez advances to the next round. You've got to applaud El Ventura there. Put up one hell of a fight. But Jordan Rodriguez was just able to pull up that victory with that beautiful Kinshasa knee. He likes to use. As you look for the highlights, there's that superplex into the Falcon Arrow. Jeremy thought that could have been it. But again, Elvin to just managing to kick out of that one. And there's the final blow, the Kinshasa knee strike. That was the first Kinshasa, sorry. Not second one, the first one. Elvin to a messes up something, but there's the second one. 
sends Enver Elvich who knocks him clear out and Jordan Rodriguez does advance to the next round in the World Championship Tournament. Congratulations to Rodriguez. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got your next first round match coming up really, really soon. Congratulations to Rodriguez. But like I said, we've got our next one coming up straight after this. Well, welcome back to the JCPW World Title Tournament. And we're going to move on to our next match as we see Cody Rossi making his way down to the ring representing CWL. Will we see CWL take another title from JCPW to them? The interesting thing Cody Rossi has had a very good run so far here in JCPW. But like I said, will we see Cody Rossi push past his next opponent and then go on? to take the title be very interesting to see because he has had a good run as I did say he's had a good start to his, his career here in JCPW we'll just wait to see how far he really can go and can he win the JCPW world title Now uh, here we go with his opponent. is the JCPW Hardcore Champion that is Crimson making his way down to the ring I mean this is a JCPW original but he already currently holds the JCPW Hardcore Championship so can he add can he add the World Championship to his to it to his to his titles not again, he does have a huge defense of that title to Logan Townsend, who did eliminate him from the next gen tournament. It's be interesting to see how this match goes. Here we go Cody Rossi, Crimson. Here we go, bell rings, and here we have both guys tie up, and then Cody Rossi obviously does have the strength advantage in this match so he does this force crimson into the corner referee forced to make the break clean break from both superstars crimson there with a mishinoka driver an early pin not even the one count snap ddt but no he was not reverse there I mean, you see a side of suplex there from Cody Rossi. Now just to talk about both these superstars, I mean Cody Rossi has been a main player ever since he came here. I mean he's got to the last three of the hardcore championship. He got to the last few of the next gen championship as a springboard. A springboard drop kick he likes you so often. 
And Cody Ross has really proved that he is a force to be reckoned with here in JCP. WFC Crimson going for a Dragon Suplex. And as for Crimson, I mean, this guy is the JCPW Hardcore Champion. And I mean, like, I now relaunch. Crimson could be our first ever dual champion winning both the Arcago Championship and maybe if he gets to the final the JCPW World Championship too. So it'll be interesting to see how these guys perform single leg drop kick there from Crimson. And he springs over just in the Tope Atomico. And Crimson up Cody Rossi works the arm twists the arm dragging his opponent over the corner and follows up with a beautiful arm drag there springboards off the ropes into the arm drag Cody Rossi Reed now starting to take control of this match with the knee to the small of the back of Crimson goes in the pin not even a two count, just gets the one count there on his opponent. Is that Cody Rossi is really struck once, wants to get this match done so we can possibly move on to the finals. So Cody Rossi goes to the top with a diving sent on. All his body weight there, but crimson there with the jawbreaker. And then straight knee to the side of the face. And then Irish whip into that court, bottom corner there. Crimson now starting to take control. As I say that, Rossi there with a top hurricane runner off the top rope. Oh, we've seen him do this a few times before. He's lined up for that beautiful spinning heel kick he likes to use. There it is, that spinning heel kick. Sends Crimson to the ground, but Crimson it, it, it reversed there with a kick of his own to the forehead. Back and forth reversals now. Definitely back and forth reversals. Crimson showing that light heavyweight style that he does use. And then panels of the crowd and follows up with a forearm. Second forearm. You can see a close line into the running bulldog. Looks like the momentum has shifted in the favour of Crimson. Oh, we've seen him use this one before. That is the Death Valley Driver. And goes into the pin. You can get the pin off the Death Valley Driver. There's one, two. Just the two count there off the Death Valley Driver. It seems he's going to do a lot, needs to do a lot more to make sure he gets the win. And this could be the moment he lines something up. It was a super kick, but it's reversed by Cody Rossi. Into the snap suplex. And follows up with a pin. Again, Cody Rossi going for that spinning heel kick. Second one of the match. Miss Crimson manages to move out of the way. They got both guys back and forth with strikes. As we see a perfect plex there from uh, from Cody Rossi, sorry, but that's he's uh, both men are running on fumes right now. Reed Cody Rossi now working on the back, sends in the stomps, and then Irish rips the opponent into the corner. So something similar earlier from El Ventura through the ropes into that tornado DDT. Seems to be the most overused move here in JCPW. We've seen that twice already. Right, that's the total wheel backbreaker from Cody Rossi to Crimson. Like I said, serious back and forth match here. Cody Rossi now taking advantage of. His, well, taking advantage of his advantage that he's made. Oh, the whiplash, whiplash neck breaker. The referee's count still going on, but he managed to get his opponent into the ring. 
He's going to go for it again. One more time. Looking for that spinning heel kick he loves to use. There it is. There's the spinning heel kick. Goes into the pin. There's one, two. Was that a three? I think a just a two count there. Very close one there, though. But Cody Rossi now has to take advantage. But Crimson with the reversal. Cody Rossi reverses the favor into the reverse DDT. Some Cody Rossi lining up. He's gonna wants to finish this match. We've seen him do this before. Simon's carry GTS. Follows up with a beautiful penalty kick strike. Is to the pin. Through the half is one, two, there's three. Cody Rossi advances through to the next round. Again though, Crimson, the JCPW World cha heavy, Hardcore Champion, sorry, loses another match. So that definitely puts him in the firing line for losing that title. I see the highlights here. There's that spinning heel kick he likes to use so often. There's a death fight driver from Crimson. Went for the pin. Only managed to get the two count off that. And there's that end of the match. So he's GTS into that penalty strike. Here's one. There's a two. Three count. Cody Rossi advances, advances, but ladies and gentlemen, what a match we've seen from both superstars. Congratulations to Cody Rossi moving on to the semi-finals of the JCPW World Title Tournament. We're going to take a very short break, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you right here in JCPW after this break. Welcome back, JCPW Universe. We are moving on to our next match of the night. Our next first round match. And there we do. We see Twisted Lewis Sanders, who made a great impression in the Next Gen Championship. But he has made, he advances through to the tight chance to win the JCPW World title. So that is Twisted Lewis Sanders. Sanders making his way down to the ring. Interesting to see how the rookie, this guy is new to the business, does perform against somebody probably with a little bit more experience than he does have. And his opponent. That is right. He is the Prince of Steampunk. Vincent Lawrence. Again, another superstar who has not had the best start to his JCP reload. To, to this JCP reload. JCPW relaunch. He's not the best of starts. He was eliminated from that world title. From the hardcore title tournament. And also the next gen championship should be interesting to see if he can bounce back and he can win the big one which is the JCW World Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm quickly going to posh top to the refreshment stand so do not go nowhere because I'll be back in two shakes until two shakes 
our mouse whisker. Apologies everybody, I am now back. I probably missed the first half of this match, so we'll just let the match go on as it does. Again, apologies for missing the first half of this match. Did go to the refreshments stand, there's a bit of a queue there. You see a back suplex there from Vincent Lawrence. Be interesting to see how this match goes. Vincent Lawrence straight up stomp to Lewis Sanders. And again, another one. Like I said, we've got the Prince of Steampunk going against the Master of the Spinebuster. But from the looks of it, Vincent Lawrence is starting to take control of his match. Just follows up with a reverse knee to the back of Lewis Sanders. We'll see how this match goes as we see Vincent Lawrence reversed. In. Lewis Sanders at his boy checks his opponent, sends his opponent down to the mat. What are we going to see here from Lewis Sanders? He's just straight up stomped to the chest of his opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, if the commentary does seem a little bit more quiet now. Oh, hang on a sec. As just as I say that, we see a huge spine buster from Lewis Sanders. This match could be done. There's one, there's two. Only manages to put out a two count there. Lewis Sanders hitting that spine buster out of nowhere as he's renowned to do. Are we gonna see it twisted justice but no Vincent Lawrence is ready for it and falls up with his very own dirty deeds that snap me headlock into the pin. This match could be done, it's one, two. Lewis Sanders just managing to kick out of that one there. Vincent Lawrence is going to do a need to do a hell of a lot more to make sure he puts away his opponent tonight. As you see, Vincent Lawrence starting to take control of this whole match. Is that full round? Second full round. Sanders in the corner follows up with a clothesline into that running bulldog. Vincent Lawrence now starting to take control of the match. Drops down there, just dropping down on the leg, takes out some impact. Oh, we've seen this before. Full Nelson into the face buster. One, two. Only managed to get a two count there. Looks like Vincent Lawrence trying to get the crowd behind him. Are we going to see another one of those dirty deeds? There it is. Locks in into the Dirty Deeds headlock. Snap me headlock there. This match has to be done. There's one, two. Wait a minute. 
Lewis Sanders managing to kick out after two. We can see from Vincent Lawrence now just a straight up power bomb. Just powers his opponent down and slams her into the bat. Pauses that with a snap me. With a straight up bionic elbow to the top of the head. Then just stomps his opponent's chest. Goes in for the pin. Again, only managing to get a two count. Lewis Sanders really wants this. Lewis Sanders really wants to prove to everybody he's worth more than just. Uh, just a quick apology to anybody who was watching that, and we had a bit of a technical issue. As you see, both Vincent Lawrence, this goes out the same. Vincent Lawrence and Lewis Sanders. As you see, Lewis Sanders went for that spine buster. He's so renowned to use in. Oh, we're going to see him discuss. We're going to see. Them. Discus big boot from Vincent Lawrence takes his opponent down. This match could be done, but no. Seems Lewis Sanders, Lewis Sanders still has a little bit of fight left in him. He drags up his opponent. But Vincent Lawrence is able to reverse with the European cut falls it into snap suplex, but no. Suplex of his own. Ladies and gentlemen, back and forth match here. We're seeing. Either one of these guys, whoever wins this one, will advance to the next round of the tournament. Let's see, Vincent Lawrence is some straight up punches to the side of the head of his opponent. Vincent Lawrence. Oh, it's reversal by Lewis Sanders. Lewis Sanders there with a sit out spine buster. Again, this guy hit a spine buster from anywhere he wants to, but only gets a two count. Lewis Sanders looks like he's ready to end this one. He's like he's ready to finish this match off. There is Twisted Justice. Into the pin. There's one, two, three. Lewis Sanders picks up a huge victory over Vincent Lawrence with a Twisted Justice. But ladies and gentlemen, what a match we've just seen. There's that first spine bust that we saw from Lewis Sanders. We thought that match could have been it, but no, Vincent Lawrence was able to muster up enough to escape after the two count. There's that sit out, full Nelson STO he likes to use. And again, only managed to get a two count. And there's Dirty Deeds, we generally thought after that move, that was it was done. But as you can see, Luke Sanders just musters enough to kick out. Get another pin attempt, probably a, a, a reckless pin attempt, but again, did not manage to get the pin. There's the finish, twisted justice. Goes in the pin, there's one, there's two, there's three. Twisted justice puts Lewis Sanders through to the next round of this JCPW World Title Tournament. But as we did last time, we're going to take a very, very short short intermission we'll see you all for the next round match well welcome back everybody and we on to our final first round match in this JCPW world title tournament and we will see one of the biggest stars in virtual wrestling making his appearance right here, right now. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is JC Wolf. For those who don't know who JC Wolf is, we're have you been key this guy is the talk of virtual wrestling right now but he is here in jcpw to make an impact and think hopefully walk away with the title as well for those who do not know he is currently holding the cwl world championship he hasn't brought it with him tonight i'm guessing he's concentrating on jcpw to not wear, wear that title tonight but we're going to see JC Wolf going for that world title tonight here. 
and he has got he has got a task ahead of him because his opponent is going to be a bit of a challenge. But like I said, making his way to the ring. This is J C Wolf. His opponent making his way to the ring. This is a list Logan Townsend. Now, this guy has got a chip on his shoulder, there's no doubt that he has that. And he has done pretty, he's been pretty successful so far in the upcoming weeks. The last few episodes that we had. I mean, this guy has already secured a hardcore championship, a JCP hardcore championship title match in the future by beating Crimson in the next gen championship. But can he do the same here? Can he beat JC Wolf? And maybe, you never know, maybe secure himself a shot at the CWL World Heavyweight Championship. So here we go, JC Wolf, Logan Townsend. Here we go with your final first round match, and JC Wolf is straight in with a the crucifix there. And straight to submission to crank him back on the neck, really locking that knee into the back there, but obviously way too early to hit something like that. Oh, for Nelson into the face buster. And it springboards into a beautiful moonsault there. JC Wolf is definitely, in my opinion, the favourite to win this one. Next to Jordan Rodriguez. It'll be interesting to see those two back in the ring. Because it's been a while since we've seen those two there. There's the pin. Oh, but he gets the one count there. But like I did say, it'll be interesting to see JC Wolf and Jordan Rodriguez in the ring. One more time, we see a power bomb from Logan Townsend. And falls up with a suplex there, just picking up his opponent into the suplex. And then there's that picture perfect moonsault he loves to use. Falls it up with a sent on, but misses out there. A JC Wolf is gone. Look at these shots to the side of the head. Just picks up his opponent, straight knees to the side of Logan Townsend's head. And then follows up with a beautiful elbow drop there. But JC Wolf isn't afraid to fly. But here we go, is he on the top row? What are we going to see from JC Wolf? Baiting his opponent up. What's he going to be going for here? Oh, with the neck breaker there. Off the top rope. JC Wolf showing his dominance. Dominance. And also, as for those who do keep up with a lot of the stuff we're involved with, DCA, CCL, JC Wolf literally a few days ago made his return to DCA, taking out Malik Brown. But he follows up with a beautiful snap DDT. He is schooling JC Wolf. He is JC Wolf. Sorry, is schooling Logan Townsend right now. But also the reversal from Townsend. Now is his chance to get some problem, but no. JC Wolf there manages the, with the S2 with that leg trip. Takes up the pin. It's one, two. Only the two count there. JC Wolf has really been in the control of this whole match from the start. 
Oh, we're going to see. Look at this. Follow it into the Samoan drop. JC Wolf showing his strength off right there. And then it's again baiting his bone up, looking for something off the springboard in. But misses that springboard knee. But falls out with the German suplex. JC Wolf is relentless. Jesus was ripping it at the head and it falls up with the knee break into the suplex there. Nice little combination of moves. And then falls up with a springboard 450. That's the full moon splash. The full moon splash. This match could be over already. Oh, is that three? Referee saying that was only a two count. Logan Townsend just managed to survive that. But here we are, we're going to see no reversal there from Logan Townsend. Combination, combination of shots there and busted. I think that last elbow busted open Logan Townsend. And then a straight shot to the gut. J.C. Wolf is flying right now, ladies and gentlemen. He is showing his dominance here against Logan Townsend here we go diving code breaker double knees to the face this could be it there's one there's two again only the two count Logan Townsend showing some real resiliency here for this match as you can definitely see Logan Townsend has been busted open but I don't, Logan Townsend seems he got a second wind what we're going to see here. Oh, what a move there. Tornado DDT brings through the turnbuckle into that Tornado DDT. Logan Townsend, look, he'll take the count of victory. I know that for a fact. Both men now back in the ring, but JC Wolf, they meet Logan Townsend. But Logan Townsend is ready for his opponent. With a shot to the gut. Back and four reversals. And then just drop blocks his opponent down. JC Wolf really starting to take control with a Tope Atomico. JC Wolf has shown. And we're going to see it again. Full moon splash. There's that springboard 450 splash he likes to use. Logan Townsend there with that reversal. Was that a mistake pounding to the crowd? It definitely was as JC Wolf manages to get himself up and then hits a knee to the back of his opponent. There's that rocket kick, a huge little kick out of nowhere. This could be it. This is one, two, three. JC Wolf advances to the next round with a beautiful Claymore kick there. As we go through the reversals. Logan Townsend had his opp opportunity, but I just generally think JC Wolf was too much for Logan Townsend tonight. Because JC Wolf just dominated that whole match. It's one of the first three counts, we only got two. There's that full moon splash. That springboard 450. You thought that was it. There was one, there was the two. Logan Townsend just managed to kick out the last second there. And this is where it finishes. There is that beautiful kick there. That straight up single leg drop kick or claymore kick. Whatever you want to call it. And there's the pin. And JC Wolf advances to the semi-finals of the JCPW World Title Tournament. But ladies and gentlemen, we are done with our first round matches we'll be getting on to the semi-finals really recent congratulations to JC Wolf and to all the guys who made it to the semi-finals but ladies and gentlemen we're going to take a really short break so we'll be back with semi-finals straight after this
Well, welcome back everybody to JCPW and we have reached that point. We are now at the semi-finals of the JCPW World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. And here we have one of the favourites, in my opinion, to walk away with the title tonight. Making his way to the ring, this is the legend, Jordan Rodriguez. And now since JC Wolf has now actually qualified for semi finals too, I would love to see these two renew that rivalry they had so, so many years ago. Both these guys have been back and forth for so long. That is Jordan Rodriguez and JC Wolf. It would be interesting to see if Jordan Rodriguez can make it to the finals and maybe take that JCPW World title back to CWL. But we'll just have to wait and see how the match turns out because he has got a very very determined and in my opinion the dark horse but dark horse of the tournament and just see how well he does in this final match before the finals for that championship And his opponent, representing CWL, we have got Cody Rossi. Now this is the name people are getting very familiar with, especially here in JCPW and in CWL. But he is one step closer to becoming the JCPW World Heavyweight Champion. But he does have to take on a fellow CWL superstar in Jordan Rodriguez. So be interesting to see who comes out on top of this one, who walks away, who makes their way to the finals.
Well, welcome back, everybody, and we are on to our second semi final for tonight's World Championship tournament. And he is making his way down to the ring. This is Twisted Lewis Sanders, the master and king of the Spinebuster. But this guy is definitely going to be looking to make an impact here in JCPW. Because he has been unknown right up until this point. So fingers crossed if he can pull off a big upset victory. But he does, and like I said in the early match, he does have an extremely huge task on his hands to make himself to the final with especially considering who his opponent is we will find out who that is very shortly And his opponent making his way down to the ring. This is J.C. Wolf. Now, in my opinion, I would love to see a J.C. Wolf and Jordan Rodriguez final for that world title. I mean, those guys go back so many years. It'd be interesting to see both of those guys renewing that rivalry here in J.C.P.W. But. It's very simple. JC Wolf needs to go through Lewis Sanders before we can do that. So this is a very interesting match because we've got JC Wolf definitely does want another shot at Rodriguez. Then we've got Lewis Sanders who has pretty much nothing to lose. I mean this guy is nobody knows who this guy really is in Lewis Sanders. So if he can knock off a superstar like JC Wolf, I mean that will propel his career to new, to absolutely brand new heights. But that is the thing, he needs to beat JC Wolf, the past, present and future. It's be interesting to see how he does. Here we go, Lewis Sanders, JC Wolf, our final semi-final of the night. The winners will go to the final to space, Jordan Rodriguez for the title. But Lewis Sanders there, instantly showing his power off there. Just, I just rips JC Wolf into the corner. Got a super kick, oh, reverses it. First one was blocked, but he hits him with the second one. We see from JC Wolf here. Great finds the legs into that, just straight up stomps his opponent's face into the mat with that surfboard. And then into that beautiful springboard suplex. Knee to the face there of Jay Seawolf, Lewis Sanders from Lewis Sanders. And Lewis Sanders is just starting to slow the match down, cranking back on the head and neck of his opponent. But Rodriguez is right for it with the reversal. Falls it with the clothesline, but misses the clothesline. Back and forth reversal. Beautiful reversal into the crucifix. Reversed himself out of that. Back suplex. I think he was again cranking on to that boss. Inverted Boston Crab. I can't walk. I should say sorry. Lewis Sanders with a clothesline sends JC Wolf to the mat. This will be a huge feather in the cap of Sanders if he can pick up this victory against 
in my opinion, one of the biggest stars in virtual wrestling right now. Is that so? Is the live and the falls it was straight elbow to the face of JC Wolf. It really does seem that Lewis Sanders has pretty much dominated this match right now. He does have the power advantage, which is understandable. Reversal from JC Wolf. But another lariat short arm clothesline from. Lewis Sanders really taking it to JC Wolf and just rubbing his face into the mat. And just the thing about it, gentlemen, just the thought of having maybe JC Wolf versus Jordan Rodriguez in the final for a world title. The gentlemen, it's the, it is a dream match. You see Lewis Sanders pounds the crowd, pandas to the crowd, and then let's go bring. Wolf in, but no Wolf manages to reverse that there. But like I was saying, it would be so good to see Wolf versus Rodriguez. I mean, two guys who've had a rivalry for so many years. Now, if Jason Wolf can just manage to pull out the victory. Oh, we're going to see Jason Wolf into the neck breaker, but keeps all of it. Oh, look at this. Look at that transfer into the last chancery. Cranks back on the neck of his opponent this match could be done right here but no Lewis Sanders manages to pull out the reversal there reversal from Lewis Sanders oh there's a spine buster out of nowhere like I said Lewis Sanders can get those spine busters out of nowhere and he's lining up for that twisted justice sit out spine buster this could be done no way this is a big upset there's one two three ladies and gentlemen lewis sanders has eliminated jc wolf did that just happen jc wolf dominated that whole match but just goes to prove how dangerous this guy's spine buses are. There it is, that twisted justice. And he picks up the one, two, three. Lewis Sanders will be going on to face Jordan Rodriguez in the final for the JCPW World Heavyweight Championship. What an upset. But at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Sanders. He's taken out the big dog and he's moving on to the finals. But ladies and gentlemen, we have such a huge this is going to be massive ladies and gentlemen so we will be going on to your finals but we will take a short commercial break right after this
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached it. We are here at the finals of the JCPW World Title Tournament. We will see Jordan Rodriguez taking on Twisted Lewis Sanders. And the winner of this one will be crowned the new JCPW World Championship. We're going to get straight into this one. Because here is your introductions for tonight's final. And making his way to the ring for the final of the JCPW World Title Tournament. This is the legend Jordan Rodriguez. I mean, this guy has had a tough path to get to this point. I know for a spot I was chatting with him backstage. He would have loved to have JC Wolf in this final, but unfortunately, if those who watch, JC Wolf was eliminated by Lewis Sanders. But he's just as excited about winning this one against Lewis Sanders. Lewis Sanders, sorry. Whether it was for, whether it was against JC Wolf is another thing. But he wants the world championship around his waist, and we'll see if he can do that here in this final match. And his opponent making his way down to the ring. In my opinion, this is the shock, in my opinion. This guy has been the dark horse throughout this whole tournament. This is Twisted Lewis Sanders. He will face off against Jordan Rodriguez. And this match, like you say, the gentlemen, is for the JCPW World Heavyweight Championship. Here we go, that's what it is all about ladies and gentlemen, it is the JCPW World Heavyweight Championship. Both guys looking to win the big one here, Jordan Rodriguez, Luis Sanders, here we go with your final match, Luis Sanders straight in there but no, he is reversed by Jordan Rodriguez. There with that wheelbarrow suplex, but a back and forth reversal there. We turns the reversal there. Lewis Sanders reverses that attempt at what move, whatever move he's going for there. Oh, again, another reversal. Again, back and forth reversals for both superstars here. And this is just the start of the match, ladies and gentlemen. Irish whips his opponent into the ropes, comes back. Looks there. Oh, pops up into the kick. Jordan Rodriguez popping out his opponent there. Falls up with a kick and falls up with a very... With that legendary rolling thunder. And then straight knee to the, to the face of his opponent. Now, Jordan Rodriguez now looks like he's going to be taking control of this match. But no, Lewis Sanders says he's having none of that. And falls up with a neck break. Uh, simple but it works 
and there's a knee to the jaw and to the chest of his opponent and a second knee Lewis Stan is just working over his opponent there and is grinding Jordan Rejects' face into the mat and then an elbow to the back of the neck See Jordan Rodriguez in the reversal Ladies and gentlemen, we see him back and forth reversals for this whole match right now. Who's going to take the upper hand? We'll have to see as the match progresses. Again, another reversal there from that suplex. But reversal from that suplex from the jawbreaker. Again, back and forth. These guys are reversing each other. Every move they seem to have an answer for. And we've got to see a sit-out reverse DDT from Jordan Rodriguez restarting to take control of this match in the double arm DDT made famous by so many superstars including Mankind but again another reversal like I said these guys are reversing each other back and forth nobody really taking command of this match oh there's a brain buster Huge, that's a beautiful brain buster there from Jordan Rodriguez as he, as he whips his opponent into the corner and sets up Lewis Standers on the top. What are we going to see here from Jordan Rodriguez? We've seen him do this before. Mostly superplex, holds on to it into the Falcon Arrow. Goes for the pin. It could be there. It's one, two. But Lewis Sanders just managed to kick out of that. Great show of strength there from Joe Rodriguez. It looks like Rodriguez is looking to line something up. Is he going to go for that one winged angel? There it is. One winged angel. This match could be over. There's one, two. Oh, Lewis Sanders just kicking out of that move there. Lewis Sanders is not done. He is not ready to end this match. And Jordan Rodriguez beating his opponent up. Falls up with it. Oh, but Sanders in with that reversal. But there's the Irish whip from Jordan Rodriguez. Again, these reversals, they jump reverse back and forth reversals the whole match we've had. I see that chicken wing. Dragon suplex, sorry, Tiger suplex there. And then he has to go for the pin of the Dragon suplex. Two. Oh, he gets the two count there. I am exactly what I'm thinking, what Jordan Rodriguez is thinking, what he needs to do to end this match. But it looks like Lewis Sanders has still got some fight left in him. Well, you see Rodriguez, double arm DDT, another double arm DDT. Laying out Lewis Sanders. Leg drop. Elbow drop. So the forearm straight to the forehead. Rodriguez now start, looks like he's taking control of this match. And literally as I say that. Reversal from Lewis Sanders. There's the spine buster. There's that beautiful spine buster he's renowned for. And then works over the leg. Ladies and gentlemen, Lewis Sanders didn't go for the pin off that suplex, off that spine buster, sorry. Rodriguez done for quick pin. Two. Just the two count there. Lewis Sanders, Lewis Sanders really showing some fight here. You go reversal, back body drop there from Lewis Sanders. And just laying in the boots of his opponent. Rodriguez again reversals back and forth these guys have been reversing each other ev all night ladies and gentlemen what can we say can Joe Rodriguez finish his match up no Lewis Sanders there with a replay then clotheslines his opponent into the rope and follows up with an alley-oop bomb Lewis Sanders now working that back looking to hit that big spine buster but no Reversal from Jordan Rodriguez. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match we are witnessing right here. 
And for those who don't know, this is for the JCPW World Heavyweight Championship. I was seeing a little steely T from Lewis Sanders. Look, he's going to line up for that Twisted Justice. He's got a Twisted Justice Spinebuster. There it is, that Twisted Justice. This match could be done with Crown New Champion. There's one, two. Oh! Jordan Rodriguez just managed to get his shoulder up. Ladies and gentlemen, what a final we are witnessing right here. Back and forth reversals throughout the whole night. Oh, we're going to see you. Well, that's the Verta Breaker. Verta Breaker from Jordan Rodriguez. This match could be done. Lewis Sanders manages to get up and follows it with a snap me. And then just a straight punch to the side of his opponent's head. Falls it with a kick. There's a spine buster for Lewis Sanders. Beautiful spine buster there. Renowned for those moves. But Rodriguez able to manage to reverse there into the shoulder block. Ladies and gentlemen, this match has been back and forth. We're going to see a Kinshasa. This match could be finished. Jordan Rodriguez with the Kinshasa. But no! Lewis Sanders is ready for it. Into the drop toe hold. Lewis Sanders is ready for that Kinshasa. Able to reverse that. And there's a straight punt stomp onto the, to the stomach of his opponent. Rodriguez reverses there. Looking for another one. He reverses it. Rodriguez now just pandering to the crowd. Mistake or not, I don't know. Four on smash. Oh, you're going to see... Rodriguez now building up some momentum. Two punches there. And drops him with a beautiful knee smash. This match could be done very soon, ladies and gentlemen. As you see, Irish race opponent. But Lewis Sanders is ready for it. But so is Rodriguez. Back on reverse. But there's that spine buster. This could be it. This is spine buster. There's one. Two. Oh, and only the two got there. Lewis Sanders so close. To walking away as the JCPW World Heavyweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match we are witnessing. I am losing my voice just talking about this. And we're going to see it. There it is. Twisted Justice. That sit out spine buster. This could be done. Can you do it? It's one, two, three. Wait, wait no. Wait, was that a three? No, it wasn't. Not a three coming. Jordan Rodriguez. Able to pick a gal out, but we're going to see another one. There it is. Twisted Justice. There's no way he's kicking out of this one. It goes to the pin. There's one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. We have a surprise champion. Your JCPW World Heavyweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match we have just witnessed. I mean... Back and forth the whole match. Each other, in my opinion, another another nomination for match of the year. I've lost my voice just talking about this match. But Lewis Sanders managed to pick up the win as he goes for the highlights. I'm sorry not talking about highlights, but what a match we've just witnessed. I am in shock right now. You know, I'll take this as a major upset. Oh, that first spine buster reversed, but there it is. That twisted justice spine buster. This was the end of the match. There's one, there's a two, there's a three count. He works out, ladies and gentlemen. What a match, and your new JCPW World Heavyweight Champion. It is twisted, Lewis Sanders. I did not expect that victory. I was not expecting to walk out there with the title. I was expecting Jordan Rodriguez to walk out here. But ladies and gentlemen, what a night. What a tournament. We have crowned our last champion. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of JCPW. This is episode 4. I hope you've had a great night tonight. We will see you all very soon. Good night.